Hey you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Superheroes Mongol. Pretty excited, I've been wanting this guy for some time now. You know, when I was younger I always thought, yeah, I don't need him, I don't know him, and whatnot. But as I got older and, you know, as I recently got back into the line, you know, some time ago, I, you know, I've been kind of wanting this guy, so got him for, you know, a decent price, you can pay that price for this figure loose on eBay so anyways you can see DC superheroes on the side the old DC logo and then you can see Superman Mongol you can see the diorama it comes with and then it says it's new but I doubt that anyways <laughs> on the side you can see uh, Bizarro Cyborg Superman Dark Side and Mongol I, I do own Bizarro I own the, a different version of both of these guys so anyways on the back you can see yeah, this thing is not tall enough. Yeah, on the back, you can see all the other figures in this little wave. So you got Cal L, Supergirl, Black Suit Superman, and then, you know, Dark Side and everyone else I just mentioned. So, yeah, that's about it for the packaging. Let's get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is. All right, we got Mongo out of the packaging, and I've got to say, pretty impressive figure. A lot of really nice sculpting details. The paint apps are pretty nice, not as vibrant as I would like it to be. But still, really cool looking figure. And uh, yeah, man, I, I I don't know why I've always said no to this figure. Maybe just because I didn't see how cool he looked in person. But anyways, let's take a look at the head sculpt. He doesn't come with any... Oh, he does come with this, you know, backdrop piece. But I don't really use those too much. But So here is Mongol. And you can see there he looks really mean. You can just see all the nice sculpting details in the face there. I like the red eyes. I like the teeth. Yeah, man, it looks really cool. You can see he's got the, uh, you know, the helmet thing. I don't even know. But yeah, it's there. Nice paint there. I like the paint on the neck. You can see some sculpting details right there. I like these shoulder pieces. I like this purple, too. I think it looks nice. You can see, you know, nice sculpting details in there as well. I really like the sculpting detail on the belt. You can see, like, the pouches and stuff. But, yeah, it looks really cool. Like that. You can see the details in the uh, wrist here. Looks nice. You can see the hand. Nice sculpting details in there. Nice veins. Yeah, you can see the legs nicely sculpted and everything. I love the boots. Look at those boots. Awesome. Yeah, man. Looks really nice. You see the bottom. No peg holes, unfortunately, but, yeah, it was whatever. He's, he's pretty sturdy, you know. So, yeah, I like the treads at the bottom and everything. Really nice looking figure. And the muscle definition on this guy is pretty cool, too. But, uh, yeah. Look at that. Really cool. Articulation, the head will look side to side. He'll look up a tiny bit. He'll look down quite a bit. The arms will move out like so. He can't do a full 360 there. Bicep swivel, single bend of the elbow. Does not meet the 90 degree because of the cuff, but that's whatever. It's fine. Swivel at the hand. No hinge or anything. There is an ab crunch that goes that far forward, that far back. There's a waist swivel, but it is a little, little limited by the by the belt there. Hip joints could move out, but you can see how the uh, how the legs kind of flaring out there, which I just, I wish I wouldn't do that. But uh, there's a thigh cut in there. The single jointed knee does not meet the 90 degree. No boot rotation or anything, but the boots will hinge. And that's it. Slightly pivot, but... Yeah, man. Really cool figure. I like him more now that I have him in hand. And I, you know, posed him around. Took a couple pictures. And whatnot. So, there is Mongol. The, you know, superheroes Mongol. And now they re did, they did re-release this figure um, twice. The first time was with the... Um, Cyborg Superman figure, and then 
they re-released him in the Green Lanterns way, uh, line, where he's in the Sinestro Corps. So I got I got this guy in the mail yesterday, and uh, yeah, I, I I like this guy too. I love the pink on him. I think it breaks up the you know the the paint you know the the pattern a little bit. He also has you know he's uh, sleeveless and you know he has the, the gloves on. So there, there, yeah, there's some minor differences, and I like the boots too. I don't know which one I like a little more. I, I think I'm leaning more towards this one just because it's more vibrant and uh, yeah. So. But I still really like this one. My mom actually bought me this one when we went to the toy store. I, you know, I was looking at him, and she's like, "Yeah, let me grab this one, the cheapest one." But uh, yeah, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I'm at like add the whole uh, first wave of the Green Lanterns line. So leave a comment if you would like to see me review the whole wave, because including the Boda figure, because that'd be something I'm into. But I'm not sure yet. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. Uh, I love reading you guys' comments. And uh, make sure you do subscribe to see a lot more content. I got at least two more DC reviews to do. Um, so make sure you subscribe to see that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.